So and then we'll add some, some glow, 0.1, which is a lot, I think. Let's see. And render it. By the way, the, the best way to render, the fastest way to render fluids is mental ray. Don't use Maya software, use mental ray. They build for mental ray and just render faster. So. Playing with gradients here. Okay. So we add some glow. Let's go all the way to the end. See? You have this glow around, so if you click alpha, you have all that stuff. So you don't really need it. You can always add it later. So this is lots of glow. Too much. Way too much. So keep it, keep it very low. If you add glow, keep it 0 0.1 or something. Okay. About a zero for now. This is color method. So we can do, let's disable Okay, let's disable our temperature. Color method. That's how your gradient is uh, distributed along. So right now it's density. So you see it's from, from inside out, the shape of our fluid, we have a density. We have set a density. We can do it Y gradient, and then you'll see it's from bottom to top. So if you, are f if you think your fluid will be you know, darker on the top and then mixed up, you can just fake it and put Y gradient. <coughs> and then Z gradient, or X gradient, and then input bias, see? Half of it. So you know from black to gray in, in X vector, we have a gradient from same Y is from bottom to top. And there's density, there's temperature as well. We don't have temperature on right now, so we won't show anything. Fuel, pressure, speed. So well, most of the time you set it on density, or sometimes on white green, and I'll show you the like fuel-based explosion. Okay, opacity. You can, uh, this is where you, you determine the shape of your, from inside out, of your fluid. And for example, if you, let's get some Maya. Uh, Okay, fluid, let's get fluid example. Let me show you the difference between the, the shapes of the gradients. So if we get fire, for example, if you see flame, input, flame. Let me show what the flame look like, the same gradient. So right now, we have this flame. That's our flame, and then if you go, you see that, that opacity? You see how the graph goes? So basically, if we change it, let's put a six. If we change it to regular, regular cloud, it's going to look like this. And the, the flame, usually, you, you do it like, you know, a bunch of those. So it has many kind of layers inside. And you have you can do it like linear linear. So if you render it now. It changes like from middle to the end. It has this these edges, that's what it creates. That's that's the your opacity. Right here. So okay, matter opacity, shading. Shading quality. Basically, when you render fluid, you better go, when you set up, if you do, you know, you go to render settings and you say quality and crank it up all the way. Bouncing ball. The beach ball. Okay, if you, go, if you crank it up all the way, you, give it, you better keep it draft or preview when you render fluids because 
the quality of your fluid will be affected through shading, shading quality. And it's right here. So if you go to see shading quality, this, this, is, this is pretty high. Five is pretty high. So like you, sim you simulate it's 0 0.5. Let's see what, let, let me show you what's the difference. You see all those artifacts, all that noise here? That's because it's very low quality. But if we crank it up, I mean, two is decent, especially, yeah, but you still have some stuff in it. But if you put six, better, smoother, smooth. That's the quality. So in the render settings, don't, don't go and, you know, do it higher than preview. Never, never end the fluids because it just will take forever. We'll calculate all those, you know, indirect light, like whatever you set it up, just make it preview maximum quality for, for render settings, mental ray. And then adjust your quality right here. Okay. Mm. Let's get another example. Just to show you lighting. So we have smoke. Oh, here's a good one. This is non-dynamic. This is just based on gradient. All right. I think the quality is too high, so we can lower the quality. Oh, something is slow here. Yeah, it's three. Let's make it one, so it go faster. You see the opacity again? You see that graph? It's quite different from the f flames. This is for a smoke. So, uh, yeah, uh, where were we at? Going to, ah, it's so, uh, lighting, before we go to textures. Lighting. You have self-shadow. You have hardware. Hardware shadow is for you to, to see what's going on in your viewport. So pretty much, you know, gives you pre preview. Self shadow. If you disable that, you won't have no shadows, and you, you see. So we add self shadow, and then we got some nice thick smoke right here. It takes a bit longer. And then you have shadow passage, shadow diffusion, light type, uh, lighting. Yeah, you can use real light. When you have light setup, I mean, you can put like real light. Uh, do you have lights here? Okay, outliner. No, we don't have lights. So if I set up light, let's create one direction light. And I set here, and I go to my light settings, and I say real lights. It will derive my, you know, it will, sh it will show me, it will use my real light. But you see, it's like, it's harder to control. So I bet I'd rather use fake lights, and then right here, directional lights. So if, like, if you want from top, zero, zero, and then one. And we have light shining from above, kind of. All right, so don't, you know, most of the times you want to use real lights because you just, you fake it anyways. Render, uh, cast shadow, that's obvious. All right, this all went over. Let me, sh what's, what's up with the, all right. And this is why, while we're here, we can we can look at this is non-dynamic. This is this this animation has no emitter. It has no. It has no emitter. This container, what it does, it has a it has a transparency and, like you see, input bias of opacity and it has a textures. It has all keyed. Once well, when you have time, go over and look at look at the graph editor. Like you go animation. And you can see what's going on. So you have a whole bunch of stuff 
you know. And if you tweak it, you can change the, the properties of your of your explosion. So this this explosion is non-dynamic, texture driven. And it's in uh, Maya fluid examples. <laughs> 